magkakaroon ng uh, masamang uh, epekto yung uh, dengbak siya pa. But I am very, very, very sorry. Time to know the news of the week. I'm Ria Fernandez. This is the MB Rundown. Say hello again to the world-famous island. Today, the government reopens Boracay to tourists following six months of rehabilitation. At least 116 hotels and resorts are now accredited to accept travelers. The world-famous island is also in transition to eco-friendly public transport. Moreover, several prohibitions are enforced to protect Boracay, such as littering, smoking, liquor drinking and eating by the beach, as well as loud parties. Meanwhile, roadworks are still ongoing. The government said Boracay's full rehabilitation will be done in December next year. Prices of flowers and candles in Danua are expected to rise almost a week before Undas. Meanwhile, several cemeteries issued guidelines and prohibitions for the upcoming All Saints and All Souls Day. This report. If you're going to Dangwa now, you can still score a bundle of mums for 200 to 220 pesos, while other flowers have the following prices. Also buy pre-arranged flowers for 100 to 500 pesos. Sellers say that flower prices are relatively higher than last year. They say it's because of Typhoon Ompong that affected the flower production in Tagaytay, Bukidnon, and Baguio. And this weekend, expect that they will soar further as buyers will start to flock the Manila's flower capital. At least 100 pesos will be added to the current rates of the flowers. 500 po. 500. Tapos pag ano na? Tapos po sa 1,000. For candles, only a little movement in prices is seen. As of now, regular candles are sold at 20 pesos per pack. Meanwhile, authorities remind about prohibited items inside cemeteries. These include firearms, bladed weapons, flammable materials, pets, and liquor. The Manila North Cemetery also issued guidelines in line with UNDAS. Transportation Secretary Arthur Togade has already directed all concerned agencies to be on heightened alert status to ensure everyone's safety and security during the occasion. Makati RTC Branch 148 junked Justice Department's plea to re-arrest Senator Antonio Trillanes IV. This as the court already ruled with finality the dismissal of Trillanes' school charges last September 2011, according to presiding judge Andres Soriano. But the court upheld President Duterte's Proclamation 572 that nullifies the amnesty given by then-President Aquino to Trillanes. Trillanes has a pending petition before the SC regarding the proclamation's legality. Meanwhile, the palace said it respects the court's decision. It defers to DOJ for the next legal course to take. Wondering what to wear for your Halloween party? Worry no more because the MB Rundown visited a famous costume shop to give you an idea about the latest trends. Here's Hannah Tabius. History says Halloween originated from Samhain, an ancient Celtic festival. Here, ghosts are believed to roam among the living. Wearing costumes is said to be one way to ward off evil spirits, but in these present times, people wear them as attire in Halloween parties. So now, let's check out the latest Halloween trends in one of the famous Halloween costume shops here in Metro Manila. nine years, Kitzo Manila has been the to-go place of several companies and even famous celebrities during Halloween season. It's because they can customize or look for the design or style you want. They all have those frightening or even iconic cartoon characters you grew up with, such as Snow White, The Wicked Queen, Chucky, and Pennywise. Back in the day when we started, there weren't really any costume shops in Manila. There was one place that's pretty popular, but they do rentals. 
but other than that, we couldn't find the place to, you know, to find Halloween costumes. Owner Cheska Yupanko said all their items are for sale, not for rent. How much? She said they're open to work on a client's budget. But their cheapest outfit costs 1,395 pesos. Aside from other Halloween costumes, they also have other designs perfect for other occasions. They offer accessories such as wigs, masks, hats, makeup, and even contact lenses. But you don't have to spend a lot just to be in this Halloween season. If you're in a tight budget, resourcefulness will go a long way. This is Anna Tabius for the MB Rundown. Almost a week before the U.S. midterm elections, American authorities intercepted explosive devices addressed to former U.S. President Barack Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. This report. From Washington, D.C. to New York City to Los Angeles, California, this is a track of the suspicious packages containing pipe bombs sent and addressed to top U.S. Democrats, including former U.S. President Barack Obama and former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in a span of three days. Even Mr. Obama's former CIA director and vocal Trump critic John O. Brennan was also among the victims whose package was sent to broadcasting giant CNN office in New York City on Wednesday. The series of bomb scares caused panic across the United States. Meanwhile, several U.S. politicians, including Mr. Trump, have denounced the attempted bomb attacks. Meanwhile, these are the other top news of the week. Nine sugar farmers, including two minors and four women, were massacred by an identified assailant in Sagay City, Negros Occidental, last Saturday. PNP is looking at land dispute as the possible motive of the crime. Customs Chief Isidro La Peña will now head TESDA according to President Duterte. It can be recalled that the former BOC commissioner backpedaled on Wednesday and believed that seas magnetic lifters in Cavite contained shabu. This after hearing the testimonies in a joint house inquiry. Facebook removed 95 pages and 39 accounts in the country for violating spam and authenticity policies. These include several pro-Duterte networks. FB vowed to continue removing bad content to maintain user safety and security. Let's take a quick recap of the MB Rundown for today, October 26. World-famous Boracay Island reopens today. Prices of flowers and candles in Dangwa are expected to rise almost a week before Undas. Makati RTC junks the Justice Department's plea to rearrest Senator Antonio Trillanes IV. MB Rundown visits a costume shop that offers trendy outfits perfect for Halloween parties. And U.S. authorities intercept pipe bombs addressed to top American Democrats and Trump critics. And that's the MB Rundown from the island of Baracay, Balay Aklan. I'm Ria Fernandez.